wind pump storage hydro projects are coming out of there. And uh, post the drone summit, um, the Honorable CM has announced that Karnul will be our drone valley. So you'll, uh, we're going to create a sandbox from a regulatory framework perspective and so on and so forth to get Karnul started uh, in that ecosystem. Uh, Chitur and Kadapa is now the electronics hub. Uh, we were manufacturing close to 25% of the cell phones uh, in India. Last five years, it was a bit of a pause in that sense. So we have actually degrown back to 5%. Uh, we now need to sort of reinvigorate that entire ecosystem, but we already have amazing players. Andhra manufactures almost 50% of India's uh, air conditioning. And there's going to be a few announcements uh, in the white goods space coming out soon. So it's not just about the high tech, we also care about the low tech, because jobs get created across the spectrum. Prakasam district is where your entire biofuels uh, ecosystem is coming out as part of our ICE policy, uh, integrated clean energy policy. We have the entire biofuel ecosystem coming out of Prakasam district. Of course, Krishna uh, Guntur is all about the capital region. And Amravati, which was on a pause, will now be accelerated. Government of India has been very kind and uh, we are going to see close to about five, six billion dollars worth of investment coming in to a greenfield uh, city that India has not really built uh, for the last uh, you know, few decades. So this will be in a true spirit, a greenfield city where it's not just about capital alone, it's about social infrastructure, creating economic activity up there. So uh, Amrati will be on hyperdrive and uh, works are expected to start by December uh, in that sense. So you will see a lot of activity there. And I think it'll be, it is the first of course ground up city and it will be powered by AI. So a lot of conversations I've been having with partners and players here have all been talking about the good old days when they came to Amravati, they saw it, it could be traffic management, crime reduction, so on and so forth. I think a lot of work can actually be done in that area. Uh, East Space Godavari, as uh, Sir has already alluded, uh, we are number two only to Ecuador in terms of uh, uh, aqua exports and it's a strategically very important. Uh, but I think a lot more work can be done in terms of our entire focus on value addition. And that's the second area. Petrochemical East West Godavari is known and there are going to be a few more announcements coming. Green hydrogen is another big trust area for us uh, as a state government uh, in this entire area. Coming to North Andhra, which contributes to predominantly three districts, uh, we are in the process, maybe uh, 60 days away, where we will announce uh, the world's largest chemical and pharma uh, SEZ coming out there. Uh, we are all of you are aware we are getting a new airport, Vishakhapatnam, built, being built by GMR a group. That's going to really transform the entire ecosystem. We are going to have India's largest MRO facility also coming up in uh, Vishakhapatnam. We are going to have a civilization university where we want to contribute to 25% of global manpower in the space coming again out of Vishakhapatnam. That brings me to the entire IT ecosystem in Vishakhapatnam. All of you would have seen TCS's announcement there. We are working with the, of course, the biggies to build the next campuses out in Vishakhapatnam, a very strategic space uh, in that sense. A lot of activity in the defense sector also comes into Vishakhapatnam. And then the entire ecosystem around data centers, AI, AI University, creating next generation thought leaders in AI, next generation engineers uh, in AI. So it's a bold vision, as always. Uh, and uh, you know, the, we made six promises to the electorate this time. And we are the first government uh, to make a promise on job creation. The first promise is to create 20 lakh jobs, that's 2 million jobs, in 5 years. So that is the single agenda with which we are going to work. And a singular focus is speed of doing business. Economic Development Board has been restarted. Uh, unfortunately, Saikan had to rush to another meeting, so he's not with us, but he's the CEO of the board. He's young, uh, he's just come from the field. A lot of focus, a lot of orientation uh, on getting things done. Uh, you will be seeing an announcement soon in the steel space. All it took us is two Zooms and two WhatsApp calls to clinch the deal. And that's the pace at which we are working. Uh, and I think this time around, uh, as a state, we have a very important role to play uh, nationally. Uh, if you look at it as a, as a party, we've also historically played a very important role in Vajpayee's government. Not so politically, but more so from a, a regulatory perspective. So, you know, if you look at deregulation of um, 
uh, aviation, airports, the entire roads policy, um, you know, telecom deregulation, uh, Naidu G had, had a very important role to play. And this time around, we're looking at playing a, a very important role in that sense of building the uh, entire ecosystem for the nation and getting India ready uh, for the next frontier. I believe the data revolution is here. It's going to be close to $300 billion getting invested in data centers alone every year for the foreseeable future. I believe India is poised. We have to at least attract $100 billion of that investment coming into India. And next 25 years is India's time. And no second thoughts about it. And as a nation, we have a very important role to play at the global uh, level. You know, from a pol geopolitical standpoint, uh, from a manufacturing standpoint, even if you look at China plus one strategy, India lends itself really well. But we need to really get our um, regulatory framework into place, a taxation framework uh, far more streamlined than where we are. And the government of India, of course, is very receptive uh, uh, in that sense. And we are working with them on bringing best-in-class policies uh, to enable that. And um, as Honorable Prime Minister said, Vikasit Bharat agenda of 2047. Taking it from that, we are coming with the Vikasit Andhra Pradesh, we are going to launch in November, where we are going to have key performance indicators going back and driving us on a quarterly basis, what should be delivered, what got delivered, where do we stand and so on and so forth. So I welcome all of you to come uh, revisit Andhra Pradesh. I understand last five years was not exactly a conducive environment, but we are here, um, we are here to re-energize the entire ecosystem. We want to ink, sign, close everything in the first year. So we can focus a greater part of uh, the next four years on execution and delivery. And it's all, it's no longer about big versus small, it's about fast versus slow. And speed of doing business is going to be a single forte. So, so thank you very much. Thanks for hosting me. Uh, Secretary, I really appreciate it. And thank you very much for your time. And Mishraji, if you have anything to add. All the economic generation portfolios are being handled by Mishraji at the uh, Chief Minister's office and I'd like him to add a few words to this conversation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, um, uh, see, Madam Bird and a uh, lot of officers also benefited by, if I may say, speed of doing business in the RPO yeah. office in those <laughs> times. So we very um, uh, warmly remember you in our nation as very heartening to note. So thank you so much. On that note, um, as Honorable Chen, where we are trying to attract investment geography-wise, uh, there's nothing much to be added. Chief Minister, as you're well aware, is very particular about uh, getting things done very fast, and that is why he has these are out. That is quite quite a strong achievement in terms of, uh, because policies take a lot of time, a lot of deliberation, MSME policy, the IT, the um, electronics policy and two other policies are already out and by in another 2020 specific levels of growth which the government is providing them with. Having said that, uh, we are, uh, Andhra Pradesh is open. It's your goodwill that we uh, seek the participation from all of you uh, present here and for policy making who can help us in uh, imagining things and taking the governance of